Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really good. So to today's video, to today's video, let's start again. For today's video, I thought I'd do a little get ready with me as if we're on FaceTime. Because I just want to talk. I'm going to talk to you guys as if we're on FaceTime right now. So I can just talk at you basically. Um, I'm going to show you everything I'm using. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a life update while we're doing it. I'm just scraping my hair back right now. Um, so doing my makeup. Then I'm also going to be curling my hair too today. So yeah, I just thought I'd film it because why the hell not? I'm just a bit bored and for I want to chat to somebody. So we're going to chat. We're going to do this get ready with me as if we're on FaceTime. And I'm going to give you a life update as we go along. Just say right now, let me have a look. It's 23 degrees and it's 10 a.m. in the morning. It's 23 degrees. It's too hot for my liking. It got to 31 degrees yesterday in the UK. Like that is ridiculous. That is just so hot. But yeah, I just thought I'd film this. So let's go. The first thing I'm going in with is some moisturiser. I'm actually trying a new makeup routine today. I'm using products I don't usually use. Um, a few things I do, but I've got quite a few new products. I'm actually going to show you the new products first. Um, yeah, I've just got a few new things that I want to try out. So I'll show you them. I think that could be it. So the first thing I've got is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I can never say the brand Sol Janeiro, is it? Don't know, but the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Moisturiser, literally incredible. I've used it a few times now. It's half empty. Half empty, half, it's not even half, it's about a quarter. I'm gonna have to definitely buy some more, but the good thing is if you, it goes so far, like you don't have to use a lot of it to get your whole face. But yeah, I now know what the hype is about because it's insane, but it's like 40 quid for a big, big bottle, so a little big tub. So anyway, yeah, I've got that, a bit miniature version of that. It's like 25 mil, it's tiny. Then I've got a new lip gloss, um, Crave lip gloss, gloss. Yeah, this is all glossy box stuff, by the way, guys. So my stepmom gets glossy boxes and anything she doesn't really use, she lets me and my little sister fight over. And um, luckily she had two of these, so we both got one, otherwise it'd been World War Three. Um, but these are also part of her glossy box, so a lot of the brands I haven't heard of. Then we've got a velvet lip liner. It's like a nude, it's really nice. So we'll try that with the lip gloss and the lipstick that I have. Because I have this Revolution lipstick and the shade of it is like perfect next to the lip liner. So I'm gonna try all that today. Then I've got a powder here, which is actually perfectly my shade, which is a bit mad because it's a glossy box. And then we have a miniature Niles blusher, which I'm so excited to try. The things I'm most excited about are probably these two things. But I am excited to try the lip liner, so yeah. there you go, a little makeup tool for you. But that's the reason I thought I'd film the get ready me because I'm trying new things out and stuff. But the first thing I'm going in with is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Like I said, you literally don't need a lot. I'm just going to do one cheek at a time. It sounds really daft, but so I don't use loads. Put some everywhere. I also don't put loads of moisturiser on before I do my makeup because I don't want everything to slide off, if you get me. Um, but my skin has been terrible at the minute. I know people say like, oh, the sun's meant to like be good for your skin. Oh my God, no. Whenever it gets to summer, I think it's because I like get so hot and sweaty all the time, which is a bit gross, but that's the truth in it. I think everyone's the same. I think it's because of that, but I get so like, I just break out in spots. I never have spots, like touch wood. My skin has always been really good, except for when I first hit puberty at like age 11 and my skin just went really bad. But even then it wasn't even really bad, I just had spots over my chin, which is obviously all hormonal. Um, so yeah, I've never really had that many spots, but when the summer comes around and I'm too hot, I just, I break out in them and I always get them on my nose, but I think because I have my glasses on as well, it's like that's in the most sweatiest area. It sounds really gross, doesn't it? But it's exactly the truth. Right, moisturiser on. Love that for me. No, it's okay. I didn't feel the stress at all. Anyway, yeah. Moisturiser, done. Do you know I wasn't going to do a full face today because of how hot it is, but I'm going out for lunch with my boyfriend, which doesn't matter because usually I don't ever put makeup on really when I'm with him. Um, but I am wanting to film some YouTube content, so I do want to have someone. But then I quite like my freckles in the summer, so I don't know if it's a... Yeah, I don't really know. I'm going to put a bit of concealer on and powdered foundation rather than normal foundation, I think. So we're going to go in with the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. I've literally had this concealer for years. Like this brand, 
collection for concealer is my all time favourite. I'll forever rave about it. Um, yeah, but I need to cover these bags because, girl, I did not sleep very well last night at all. But I think it's because I'm at home on my own. It's like, I'm what I say, I'm like on high alert. Do you know what I mean? Even though I know that nothing bad's going to happen, I'm on that high alert sort of thing. So, yeah, I get all. What do you call it? I haven't wet my beauty blender. That might be a good start. Finally, I've wet my beauty blender. I don't know why I didn't do that then. That was really weird. Anyway, um, what was I even saying? I don't even know. Yeah, I think I'm just at high alert because I'm home alone. So I just didn't sleep very well at all. I was like in and out of sleep. And obviously it's so scorching hot. In my bedroom, like the sun is in my bedroom 24, about seven on the day. Second it rises to the minute it goes down. So my bedroom is always a sauna. So I actually have to sleep. Actually, uh, I've, uh, I've oh my gosh, I've been having to sleep in my mum's room for the past few nights because it's just been too hot in my room. And obviously, my mum's not here, so I get the whole room to myself. Um, so if she was here, I'd be having to put up and shut up with my room. Um, I do have a fan, but it's in the loft. And I have no idea where, so that's fun. So I can't go get it myself, which is really obviously annoying that I can't do that. So I'm just have to put up and shut up with how hot it is. Okay, the next thing I'm using is the Tropic Mineral Foundation. I decided to use this one instead of a liquid one today just because of the heat and how hot it is. The powdered one, I feel like it's just going to be a bit better because the liquid one is just going to fall straight off my face. Um, and also, I don't really want to waste it either because I don't want a lot of it. So I was going to give you a life update, didn't I? And I've never started doing that. For some life update topics let's have a look for some life update topics okay i'm gonna go off i actually did a life update a year ago i've just gone into my video a year ago um i'm gonna go off what i said like topics i did then see what's changed so the first topic i did it's actually a bit cringe watching that back maybe i should do a video like reacting to my old videos because some of them are very cringy anyway i apparently spoke about channel updates so let's speak about channel updates um i don't actually know what's new my posting schedule is monday wednesday friday if you're new i'm actually trying to post a lot more shorts at the minute you might have seen that i've started them that's completely new in my channel um yeah new start with that oh, i've got one day left on the winter pass so that's good um i don't know what i'm saying but i know that i need this updates channel updates yeah youtube shorts i've been trying to post a lot more of so if you've seen them make sure you give them a little like for me um yeah there's not really much oh my earrings went out there's not really much to update you on to be honest with my channel i feel like i feel like i update it quite a lot in terms of i do a lot of chatty videos where i kind of say it or my instagram's full of them but i definitely think my channel's doing a lot better with me i'm very happy with how it's going subscriber count is going up which i'm obviously so grateful for um, we are very much on the road to 1k. I need like 120 more subscribers and we'll be at 1k. I'm really trying to hit that by my birthday. So if you're new, please help a girl and subscribe. I've just used the powder that I said about before, which is actually really, really good. I'm trying not to cover my freckles too much. I actually, I go through stages. Some days I really like my freckles, some days I absolutely hate them. But today I'm actually kind of liking them. I'm not trying not to cover them too much. Right. We're going in with contour. And I'm actually using the Primark dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's actually incredible. Like, I love it so much. Um, I literally will not pay for the Charlotte Tilbury one. Because this one is so good. I'm having to draw this bit on because it's not coming out very well. Yeah, I literally, like I said, will not pay Charlotte Tilbury prices because this one is so good for £4. However, it's that good and people have raved about it that much on like TikTok and stuff, so it's out of stock in every Primark I've been in, which is not fun because, like, I need it, do you know what I mean? I need it to get from my day to day life, as you can see. Um, just, yeah, just doing my contour right now. This is a great life update, Harley. What are you doing? I literally don't know what I'm filming. I'm just doing my makeup right now. And, oh, whoa. Hey, everyone. Hey, we are.
so cringy. Relationship updates. Again, not much to update you on. Me and Talia are very much still together. Um, it'll be four years at the end of this year. Um, it's not really much to update you on there, other than the fact that we're still together. Um, yeah, I have actually had quite a few people ask me about that because I don't really post him as much on my YouTube anymore. But we're just trying to kind of keep things more to us with that aspect. Like, we staggered to a point where, like, obviously, I vlogged his birthday and stuff, which was nice, and like, that was fine because it's something good, like, so exciting. Um, but I was vlogging quite a bit or like asking to do videos quite a bit, and I think it was just getting to the point where everything was for camera and it wasn't it wasn't for us anymore. So we're just trying to rein that back a bit because yeah we just want to do us so that is the reason i don't really post too much anymore it's just because we're trying to keep it more private for us if that makes sense not that he doesn't want to be on the channel like he will be on the channel and he'll be in videos still and there will be videos with us but the reason we've not really posted much is just trying to keep it our relationship a bit more private for ourselves which is actually kind of hard anyway because when i yeah i don't know i am one of them that posts everything <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're very much still together, we're very much still happy, so, yeah. I always hate doing a makeup on camera because the lighting on this side is so shadowy that it looks different, two-toned, and it's like, it's really not. Um, but yeah, that is my relationship update. Education update. Okay, so last time I filmed this, I was actually in my first year of college, which is kind of, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, I'm not in my first year of college anymore, I'm very much in my last final weeks of college and I leave in about two weeks time now um, and then I'm off to university which is very scary, I won't lie. I'm excited to go to uni, don't get me wrong, but I am half petrified as well. Um, I am staying at home so with that aspect at least I don't have to move out and it's not like a whole change. Um, but I am still a bit nervous about going to uni full stop yeah i forgot what i was up to education updates but yeah i am still doing musical theatre um i'm going back to uni to do that i'm still i mean now it sounds really bad like as much as i love theatre i've had a bit of a wobble with it recently and i've been like i don't know if i want to do it all the rest of it i think i'm going to go back and do it we're going to give it a shot and see how we go and yeah i'm just at a time where i'm wobbling because this is what i want to do full time like Talk, sitting here talking to you guys makes me so happy like i'm just talking to a camera but i love it it's just what i love to do do you know what i mean so it just gives me a bit of a wobble because i said like, why am i going to do a uni degree spending like 30 grand that i don't have <laughs> um, on a uni course so yeah but i am going to uni i'm gonna stick it out i'm using the nars blusher right now and yes i'm using an eyeshadow brush right i've lost my um I lost my blusher brush and this is the best we're getting. Right, I need to stop clicking off it because I can't listen to it anymore. Mental health updates. Ooh. This year has been a roller coaster. I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. The mental health this year has been a roller coaster. Don't get me wrong, I've been fine in terms of there's a lot of people very, very, very much worse off than I like than i am if that makes sense like i'm so fortunate and i have got a good life but in terms of just feeling a bit upset a lot or i do suffer with anxiety and that's been quite bad this year i will not lie to you and um, i'm going to be completely transparent if this is a trigger warning for you then please skip away from this part of the video um it's not gonna be too too much because to be fair there is not too much to go through with it um but i didn't have a good start to the year with anxiety it's just been completely through the roof i don't really know why i don't know what was causing it but it was all the time it was constant it was draining like i was constantly drained i'm gonna put a bit of blush on my eyes i was constantly drained because i was always overthinking about everything it was getting bad and it took a toll on a lot of things it took a toll on my friendships it took a toll on me and charlie i won't like to take a toll on us it's just took a toll on my whole life like the start of this year we're in june now and i'd say i'm only starting to get into the year now like this past month has been when I'm actually starting to do what I wanted to do in January and to just relax a bit. I feel like 
I'm only just starting that so like the start 2023 for me has probably not been the best year and when I do my reflection at the end of the year it's probably only going to be from June onwards because the start of the year was just a complete shocker hated it I just I'm not like this year at all stuff that's happened I say stuff that's happened there's not even that much that's actually happened but I don't know how to explain it like there was nothing major that happened that made me so upset but I just was upset it's just how I was again it's the mental health isn't it but no i've had a bit of a wobble this year i won't lie um i'm doing a lot better now don't get me wrong um i'm doing a lot better now <laughs> yeah so much better the anxiety is obviously still there like it's something i genuinely struggle with it's like it's on paper like do you know what i mean like it's i'm not just going oh i'm a little bit nervous like i genuinely do struggle with it um what was i saying <laughs> yeah I genuinely do struggle with it so this year has just been a complete roller coaster with emotions when it comes to mental health but we're definitely a lot better i'm doing so much more now and being so much more independent which is obviously helping i have my driving test so you know i won't lie i'm not gonna tell you when but it's soon so hopefully when i pass that i'm gonna get so much better um because i'll be able to be independent i'm just doing my eyebrows now But yeah, that is my mental health update for you all, if you're all wondering. Apparently that's all I updated you guys, and that's such a rubbish thing. what the hell. Um, I'm trying to think of what I could update you on. My job, I could update you on my job, I still work at McDonald's. Um, yeah, people don't, some people don't know that. I actually do work at McDonald's. I only do one shift a week, to be fair, like, I don't really, not really there that often. Um, but I work at McDonald's. I also do my Instagram. Some of you will know I do get paid from brand deals over there. So that's a job, I suppose. That's a job that I love. That's a job that I want to keep doing for the rest of my life. I won't lie, that is definitely the dream is to continue with social media. Um, And then what else do I do? I feel like there's something else I do. I'm actually going to be working, doing catering soon, which is a bit exciting um new new different thing for me i will still be at mackie's doing one shift a week but i'm going to be in a catering job with my mum's friend and her team um which is honestly such good money as well which is obviously what's needed right now i'm skin that's what they will say because i really do so many jobs i'm so broke but it's because i do one shift a week at mackie's so it's like 100 pound payday so it's like 50 pound a week um because i'm on nine pound an hour which is obviously really good and if I was doing more shifts a week it'd be extremely good but not when I'm doing one shift a week and then I also have a car to pay for well I don't have a car yet but I'm saving for a car to pay for so yeah do you know what my eyebrows have gone really really well again the camera looks so shocking let me move you a sec so you can see what I look like makeup's actually going well today which is really good it's a good start isn't it um where am i up to mascara my favorite mascara at the minute is both of these um benefit ones but they do drip so when it's too hot i can't use them because they just drip down and they have black marks so i'm going to use a tropic one because it's a lifesaver i won't mind it just doesn't budge i love it i'm going to go in with this i'm not doing any eyeshadow because i don't really ever wear eyeshadow i mean the wear eyeshadow if i'm getting completely glam like going out and even then it's just subtle or if obviously it's show video is going to take the longest to edit ever it's too hot i need to cut my hair but it's so hot that like i don't, don't want to do it because it's too hot right let's try this lip liner on. The lip liner is so gorgeous. Literally the perfect lip liner that I've needed recently. Where is it? It is. Right, let's put the lipstick over the top. to keep my natural lip shape rather than 
overline. So, so I've got little lips today. Then I'm going to try the lip gloss over the top to give it a bit of shimmer. Absolutely stunning. Oh my god. Look at them lips. Sorry. What are they? Cute. Loving it. So I've just got to do my hair now. But it's too hard to do my hair. It's far too hard. This blusher is like, yes, it's serving what it needs to. Very happy with that. Is this plane gonna shut up? Do you know what? I'm not gonna film curling my hair. We're already 40 minutes in, and I feel like I've got nothing else to update you on. But I'll do an outro when I have curled my hair because I look steak right now. Actually, much later on, I won't lie to you guys, it is five to six. Whoa. I'm actually just editing this video and realised I didn't film the outro what I said I'd film. So I'm filming the outro now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. You know the drill. Um, like I think I said in the start of this video that we are on the way to a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please help a girly out and subscribe. <laughs> um, big thumbs up. I say that, but I feel like I don't even check them that much anymore. I feel like a lot of people don't check their likes anymore. But if you do, I mean, I appreciate it. Follow my social media, I'll pop it on the screen right now for you guys. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed being on FaceTime to me. And I shall see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.